Daniel and I are getting ready to head out and uh, we'll go check out a spot, an early colonial spot that uh, actually survived uh, right on up past the Civil War. So I figured we share some of our finds that we dig today and hopefully we'll get into some good stuff. But anyhow, I got my got my man driving, so I'm getting chauffeured this morning, which is pretty cool. So Pop gets to relax here a little bit. But anyhow, uh, we will check back in with you and, uh, as soon as we get to the site. Later. All right, we finally made it to the site. And a uh, beautiful day out here today. So we're going to get our gear on. And uh, we're going to see what we can get into. Hopefully some good colonial stuff and uh, maybe some Civil War stuff. So um, let's off to the first hole, guys. I've had a chance to dug a few targets already this morning. Uh, gotten a few broken shoe buckle pieces. Gotten some lantern parts and stuff. But uh, got a nice little signal here. And basically it's just right up on top of the ground. It looks to be just a little teeny tiny cuff button. It wasn't that deep at all. It's basically in the bean stalks and stuff there, but it cooled a little fine. So uh, we will head off to the next hole and uh, see what else we can get. Hey, got another good signal here. Um, got a few more trinkets here and there. Um, but we're gonna see what we got here on this one. Like a spun back tom back button. Man, get this in the light here real good. Let me see it. Looks like it's chipped up and broke up from the plow and stuff. Yeah, shanks broke off the back of it. That's almost a whole button, but there we go. All right, off to the next hole. next hole here and picked up a nice little uh, colonial one piece flat button still has a shank on the back of it nothing on the face but we will take it all right off to the next hole I had to take a break for a minute and come over here and check on my buddy and uh, nicknamed gopher but anyhow Daniel's over here. Looks like he done got himself into a nice little trash pit or something. But you can actually see the difference in the soil color with the burnt ash and everything that's down in the bottom down there. And it looks like he's just starting to get into some stuff here now because he's actually pulling oyster shells and pot iron and stuff like that out. Let me get. You can see the oyster shells right here. Big pieces of oyster shell, stuff like that. Pieces of kettle, iron nails, and stuff like that. So we're going to get out of his way, let him dig some more. It looks like he's got a pretty good hole going on down there. But anyhow, buddy, you keep getting it done. We'll check back in with you in a minute. And right here in front of me, I have a nice little cuff button. And what I have here is a sweet, sweet navy cuff. First period target that I've dug from out of here today. Got some melted lead pieces though, you know, could be paired and stuff, but this is the first good target out of here today. I'm really, really happy with that, man. So when I get home, I'll get this thing cleaned up and uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, I'm going back to digging. I gotta go over and go see what Daniel's doing now. He just hollered at me. He just got a nice one out of his pit. And what's it? What's he got, Bobby? What you got, man? Oh, look at that, man! Nice colonial shoe buckle. Tongue bars missing. Woo wee! Hey, buddy. Rock on, man. Rock on. Good job, man. Good job. Keep getting it done, man.
guys, we are wrapping it up here. Uh, just got done covering Daniel's pit. Uh, he was down several feet with that. A lot more oyster shell and stuff. Not a whole lot else more of it, but he did get a nice shoe buckle out of it. Uh, I think we ended up with close to a dozen plus buttons. Uh, some early 1700 or late 1700 buttons and uh, early 1800 brass buttons. And some other odds and ends and stuff like that. But uh, we're going to head back to the house, lay the stuff out, and take a look at it. Alright, well we got everything laid out from our hunt, Daniel and I, and I was just going to go over some of the things that we had found on the dig. Uh, but anyhow, we got a basic mess of miscellaneous brass pieces and stuff like that that I threw here and hunt a lot of home sites. You're going to end up having to dig a lot of this stuff to um, get it out of the way. So uh, you can kind of get down to the good stuff. So, but unfortunately, you do have to dig that. Typical harmonica pieces, harmonica reed pieces, um, just scrap brass pieces, doorknobs, um, early 1900s jewelry and stuff, uh, toy gun parts. Uh, it looks like some kind of uh, hose container or something, probably for a farm tractor or something like that. Uh, other miscellaneous brass pieces, but uh, as you get down through a lot of that stuff, and then you start getting down in here into some of the earlier stuff. Um, typical early colonial buckle. Um, I think this was in a video, and it's a adjuster for a, a lantern. Yeah, let's see, here. one of the other cool finds we made is a shield nickel. And this is an eight. 1967 shield nickel. Uh, it's not in good shape. Uh, farm fertilizer from the fields and stuff like that really eats these uh, coins up. And they really can't make out anything on the back side of that one. But uh, some of the other flat buttons and stuff that we dug. Tom back button. Another Tom back button. And, uh, this is a nice. Uh, probably early 1800s brass button and uh, you see the back mark on it some kind of floral design but probably about 1820 something like that uh, another tom back button a uh, small cuff button and got a bunch more small cuff buttons mixed up in here all of them got the shanks and stuff on it uh, this is a cool piece here this is a fly Batch cover. This goes to an iron lock. And if you look real close, you can see the word patent on it. And it's, it's probably probably late 1800s, uh, mid 1800s, something like that. Uh, watch key. This winds the watch. You can actually still see some of the uh, threading and stuff on there. But some of them had a little bit of longer pin that went on there. Uh, a couple brass rivets, cool little thimble here, this thing, seen better days, she got crushed and flattened down. Uh, some earlier colonial shoe buckle pieces, uh, late 1700s, early 1800s. Um, this was a cool little button here that Daniel found, uh, bowl type button, and the shank on it. If I flip this around, we got like a quarter pin type shank on it, and really high concave button, but uh, a cool little find. And then he ended up with a few little flat buttons himself, and this one had a good back mark on it. And then he ended up with this cool, cool colonial spoon. And I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's a hallmark right there. You can see the little circle, the little hallmark on there. Some of those had different designs and stuff like that on there. Uh, I've got one complete one that I've dug with the actual stem on it, and it's got a strawberry on the end of it. And they came in a couple different styles. But a uh, nice, cool little piece. And then, of course, Daniel's Colonial Shoe Buckle that he found out of the pit. And uh, but this thing would have had a bar that would have gone right through the middle here. And of course, a tongue with a leather strap and everything would have went through and would have hooked it up. And uh, let's see, you've got another 
colonial buckle there. I believe that's called a trapezoid buckle. Um, early deal. But anyhow, and then we got the navy cuff button. Which I was really, really happy with in there. So I'm hoping this place is going to have some more Civil War era stuff in there. So this is a good sign uh, with that being in there. So we'll get back at it later on. And uh, we'll get back in there and see what we do. But I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that we found out of here. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. And we will do it again soon. Thank you.